So right here, what we got is the Smooth 5.25, and uh, this is how it's wired. Um, if you have the uh, FX 5.25, I'm sorry, the FX 25, uh, it's also wired the same way. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in on the wire in here, and um, so that we can see exactly. How this is done. All right, this um, this connector right here is pretty simple, right? So it's a foolproof connector. It goes from the uh, relay board there, and if you trace it back, uh, you see that it goes into this uh, dark hole right there. That goes up to the uh, console. Um, there's also a bunch of other wires here. Let me see if I could zoom in a little better. Alright, so you're looking at this black wire right here. Alright, that's from the incline motor. Um, this red wire right here is also from the incline motor. And the um, white wire from the incline motor is the next one. So if we look at this one here. All right. Hopefully we can all see that. All right. So that's the uh, incline motor. This next white wire is going to the controller. So if we move this over here. We can see this is the uh, controller, all right? This is the white wire that's piggybacking to the relay board that we just looked at. Uh, this next wire next to it is also the input, the blue one, and that's the input coming in, power source, and that's piggybacking over to this relay board here also. All right, so that's this blue wire right here. All right. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that that makes a lot more sense now, hopefully. Um, and there's a couple more wires on here that we'd like to touch on. All right, so I just added the uh, one extra wire that was uh, missing. This, um, this, this connected, this wire here, it's a four pin uh, connector and it's a small jumper that goes back over to the uh, to the controller so the other end of it connects right here this is um, if you look at it it's more like a five pin um, but one slot is actually look at that okay so one slot is actually um, kind of not there so we got one two three four five got a missing slot in there just be careful when you buy wiring for these machines. Uh, make sure that you check the connector on the jumpers if you're buying this jumper um, to make sure that um, it's that way. I don't know why it's designed like that, but if we come over here, we can see that this connector does not have that missing slot. So we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, but it doesn't have that that missing uh, missing slot like this one does over here right the other end over here we can see that missing slot all right so just keep that in mind some of them has five to five some of them have five to six so depending on what machine you're you're working on and that's um, pretty much how it's wired um, there's a couple other connectors on the controller that we'd like to touch on the uh, choke here is hardwired into the controller so we don't have to wire, worry about that um, the only other uh, wiring that's here is the drive motor so um, these two wires right here this red one right here and this black one right here that's the uh, wires going to the drive motor uh, from the controller so if I zoom out here you guys can see a little bit better 
and probably can trace those wires back um, properly. Uh, a lot of spaghetti there, but um, that's pretty much if you follow the uh, the video. That's pretty much how you would wire that up um, on a five twenty five or FX twenty five.